Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic. Uh, we're discussing today the latest developments in uh, Gaza Strip and the occupied territories uh, in uh, Palestine. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with His Excellency Ambassador uh, Raha Hassan, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning to you and to the audience. Well, uh, Your Excellency, uh, the uh, situation in Gaza is uh, deteriorating. And uh, so uh, how did you read the latest developments uh, uh, with the uh, uh, situation worsening uh, day by day and the uh, casualties and the number, the death toll is rising every hour or every minute. So how uh, did you uh, read uh, nowadays uh, the latest developments? Actually, as you said, it is deteriorating every hour, not every day. Uh, the Israeli uh, bombarding and the, the destroying every uh, citizen district and also the hospitals and uh, all the uh, 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 stations of the, the water or electricity. So the... the uh, Gaza Strip now is in a catastrophic situation, uh, not only uh, from the, the war effects and the, the uh, ethnic cleansing and the genocide committed by the by the Israeli forces, but also the lack of food. Now uh, they can't uh, attain more than one meal a day, if it is possible even. And also for their uh, uh, the, the wounded people, they can they cannot find a place in the hospital. If they find a place, they can't find the medicine or the medical equipment. And also, it is not safe. Uh, the Israelis every now and then bombard the hospitals in all over uh, the Gaza Strip. Uh, also, the the foil the foil is very important for everything not only for uh, morphing the transportation, but also for the, uh, to, to uh, help the hospitals to uh, make operations for the uh, seriously injured people to save their life and also f to uh, guarantee that the uh, other uh, producing is still, what still producing uh, entities in, in Gaza Strip uh, can still go on work and to produce something to help the people because what is uh, entering into Gaza from the uh, humanitarian assistance is, is, a, is a drop in an ocean. It's not enough, uh, as the international organization mentioned, is not enough even for 2% or 3% of the displaced people by force from their homes. Now in Gaza Strip, between 70 and 80 percent of the population uh, are displaced from their places uh, forcibly by the Israeli occupation forces. Yes, uh, the the last hope, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, uh, um, uh, Ambassador Raha, uh, the last hope that. Uh, uh, everybody is hoping for uh, is uh, uh, another truce after the uh, the old one have uh, collapsed uh, and um, uh, even um, uh, Israel after the first truce uh, was more aggressive in uh, hitting uh, the uh, south after it was uh, forced uh, there was a forced displacement uh, for Gazans and uh, the Palestinians to the south yet it uh, was hitting the south uh, every day so, um, uh, the, um, uh, what would drive uh, uh, all parties to uh, start another uh, truce? Do you think that the, uh, the incident of killing of three Israeli hostages by the uh, mistaken, uh, by the Israeli uh, uh, army, uh, occupation army, uh, this would, could result uh, uh, to start another round of uh, truce? and negotiations, of course. Yes. Actually, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Netanyahu, is, is uh, uh, stubborn. He's not accepting to uh, ceasefire, uh, which is asked by the European countries now. 
Now, if we see the, the change in the situation of uh, both France, Britain, and uh, uh, Germany. Even, even the United States, Your Excellency. If in the United the States, statements by still, uh, Joe Biden, yes. It's still, it's still softly, but yes. now, tomorrow, there will be a, a session in the uh, British Parliament to discuss uh, stop sending arms to Israel and yes. to ask for ceasefire and to uh, consider uh, 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 putting some, uh, uh, you know, banishment uh, to the Israeli and the, the, the members that they asked for this decision called it genocide and the, you know these atrocities. Uh, it actually, uh, uh, the prime minister of Israel and the defense minister, they are mixing up the war with their defending themselves personally. But now, uh, with the pressure from who is from abroad or uh, inside Israel itself by the families and supporters of the uh, war uh, prisoners and the detainees in Gaza, they asking him to give permission. And he gave already last night or yesterday a, a green light to the uh, chief of the uh, Israeli intelligence agency, Mossad, to start negotiations. And he met in Oslo with the uh, uh, Qatar uh, responsible to uh, discuss returning back to negotiate a, a, a ceasefire uh, period. No, they don't cease, uh, ceasefire completely, but you know a humanitarian uh, ceasefire. Uh, the, the problem now is the exchange of uh, uh, war prisoners and the detainees, whether in Israel or in Gaza. Uh, the uh, Hamas and the the, uh, Israel, the Palestinian uh, other uh, organizations, they they didn't want it to release the uh, soldier, the women soldiers in the, the the captivity. They they say they are uh, these women are soldiers, and so they would be treated in the last bargaining. Uh, to exchange them with the clearing all the uh, persons in Israel, yes. the Palestinians, I mean. Yes. So uh, it is making it difficult this time for the discussion uh, whether the, uh, uh, the, I mean, Hamas and the, the other organizations will accept the release of the soldier women, the Israeli soldier women, uh, detainees by them, or they will continue to insist not to release them uh, until the last period. Also, the uh, Palestinian organizations in Gaza Strip, they are afraid that after releasing all the war prisoners and the detainees, that Israel will continue unlimitedly and war against them and the destruction and the killing all the people. So this is very critical and complicated negotiations uh, but it will start, and we hope they can reach at least uh, a little bit uh, longer uh, humanitarian truce. Yes, uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador uh, uh, Racha, uh, concerning the uh, the change in the, the reaction of uh, the uh, the West, uh, uh, as you've just mentioned, in Britain, in France, in Germany, uh, everywhere, and also uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, uh, in his statements a uh, few days ago, uh, said that Israel ha uh, is starting to lose uh, the uh, American support. Uh, uh, and providing uh, it with the uh, weapons from uh, the U.S. Uh, so, uh, and uh, also we're expecting uh, today uh, uh, that the, the U.N. Security Council is going to vote uh, on a resolution uh, in order uh, for a sustainable end uh, for hostilities uh, in, the, uh, uh, in Palestine. Uh, so uh, what can we expect we hope that the visit of the, uh, the, the, the American Defense Minister, uh, Austin, he is coming today to visit Israel and uh, then uh, will go to uh, Bahrain and the Qatar. We hope that he will be uh, convincing the Israelis to accept a, a prolonged uh, ceasefire. We hope that. Uh, otherwise, the statements by uh, President uh, Biden and the other American officials, 
it has no uh, effect on uh, the, the ground because it's still up to now. We heard Jake Sorafan, the, uh, the security counselor uh, of the White House, he said that Israel has the right to uh, take the decision for ceasefire or not. So still they are giving the free hand to Israelis to com continue in the war. Uh, so we, we hope that this will uh, change this situation and they will accept uh, coming to a longer ceasefire. Yes, uh, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Raha, uh, also uh, concerning uh, the uh, support by Egypt for the Palestinian cause, uh, of, of course it's a historical uh, support, but uh, we're speaking uh, since uh, the 7th of October, Egypt is uh, supporting uh, Palestine with, with all means uh, as a um, uh, um, mediator uh, in concerning the negotiations, concerning the truce that took place uh, between uh, the both sides uh, Israel and uh, Hamas uh, also uh, Egypt is exerting all efforts in order to uh, support the Palestinians by uh, uh, crossing the trucks uh, the aid trucks and uh, support uh, supportive uh, um, uh, materials and medicine uh, in order to enter uh, through the, cr uh, the border of uh, the Rafah crossing uh, border so uh, give us uh, an idea about this picture how did you see it Yes, Egypt is a major uh, partner in this uh, crisis because, you know, it is, a, it is an integral part of our uh, national security. This from one part to the other, that we are refusing completely, I mean Egypt is refusing completely the uh, Israeli intention to, uh, you know, to liquidate uh, the uh, Palestinian issue and to stop the establishing of the uh, Palestinian state. As uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu himself uh, declared it uh, two or three days ago that he will stay all his life against establishing a Palestinian state. And uh, this is the Prime Minister, the other button. So e Egypt feel that uh, we have to do our uh, utmost to uh, one for, for, uh, for, for the first to uh, uh, give hand to our brothers in Gaza Strip, they are really in, in humanitarian situation. Uh, they are uh, displaced, and they want to. They, the Israelis wanted to push them to enter the border uh, of Sinai and to uh, bore into Sinai, but uh, they are refusing, and they are. Uh, saying they will be clinging to our land and will live or die here in our land. So this Egypt is uh, supporting them by all means, whether by the humanitarian uh, assistance or uh, medicine or medical as support, uh, and also uh, exerting uh, a very uh, extended effort whether in the uh, regional area or internationally or the United Nations to stop this uh, f uh, war against the Palestinians committed all the atrocities against them. Yes, uh, Your Excellency uh, Ambassador uh, Raha, um, uh, concerning Egypt's uh, stance, uh, concerning uh, the forced uh, displacement of uh, a Palestinian uh, Palestinians, whether inside Gaza or outside, uh, to go outside uh, Gaza. Uh, the Egyptian stance concerning this, uh, please. Yes, we, we declared that uh, Egypt, Jordan, and the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah, and the, also the uh, Palestinian leaders in uh, Gaza Strip, and the, 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 the Palestinian people themselves, they said clearly, that they, they, we are not leaving our land because this is a transfer plan uh, the Israel wanted to uh, carry on now and to take the opportunity of this uh, brutal war to uh, transfer the Palestinians first in Gaza and then in the uh, West Bank. So uh, they, they refuse. Egypt's uh, situation is very firm 
and very clear. We are not allowing to liquidate the Palestinian issue or to push the Palestinians to uh, Sinai. This is very clear, and we uh, declared it to the United States and to the international community, and the, the Palestinians uh, appreciate and understand this because it helped them to stay in their land and not to uh, repeat the uh, crisis which happened in 1948. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Your Excellency, Ambassador Rakha Hassan, former Assistant Foreign Minister. I really had the honor to have you with us over the phone. Thank you very much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and I'm going to be back with you.